up. Let me turn this down for a bit. There we go. I hope everybody's really fantastic. What's up? Welcome to the stream. If you guys are first time here, my name is Lore. I'm playing a character on the stream as Abigail, one of my demon tamers. You'll see soon enough. <coughs> so, uh, today we have a. We're doing something fun, well, at least fun for me. <laughs> We're going to design a, a game using Lumen SRD system. Let me see if I can get this. So if you didn't know about Lumen RPG, uh, it's designed by Spencer Campbell. He's, he's the same guy who made, um, uh, if you're familiar with Warframe, there was a Kickstarter uh, a few years ago, I think. Uh, a, a tabletop RPG inspired by Warframe. And unfortunately it was taken down because of copyright reasons and stuff, but he made a, an amazing comeback. <coughs> he basically he rebrand his stuff. He came back with the originals um, game called Nova and Light. You can look it up. I think it should be in RPG Drive Through. And out of the system, uh, out of the game, they he made an SRD Lumen system, so you can make your own game. These kind of a uh, fast paced super super uh, badass. Uh, character hero fighting game with this system, you can make more all of um popular games you ever heard about, like um, a MOBA or a hero shooter, like you know, Overwatch or uh, uh, a battle royale, something like Fortnite. <laughs> so, today <coughs> I wanted to create a game for my friends and family to play with. Uh, I'm thinking about I'm creating a MOBA here so, so just go for the concept. Yeah right let's just don't waste time let's just jump right into it. <coughs> Inspired by MOBA. Uh, if you guys have any question uh, just Tap it down in the stream chat so I can check it out. Uh, I was hoping that um, we can work on this project together. Because this kind of design is gonna, I'm gonna need a lot of help with um, with the uh, uh, the name choice, why the kind of power I'm looking for, stuff like that. Okay, so anyway, uh, it's inspired by MOBA. I want it to be uh, one to four players. 
game. Um, so it's gonna be mostly like a, um, you know, a one versus com, one versus com, <laughs> one versus AI, or a one versus one, two versus two. And I was I'm hoping that uh, since the game is gonna be a fast-paced game, uh, I want I want each game to be only last about ten minutes per game, ten 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 to twenty minutes. So uh, we want everything assumed to be fast-paced. And ends over, so people can keep coming back for more. They can keep trying out, experimenting, learning new heroes. Ha! Uh, what's the best combination or whatever? Uh. So it's gonna be hero based because in this system, the the there's gonna be classes. Like if it's a tabletop RPG, they're gonna have a have a section where you can create a class for the for players can can choose but in this time we're gonna create a hero based kind of a uh, character so so they come with their own play style their own skills their own um, advancement what else um <coughs> uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, surprisingly, not do neither Dota nor League League of Legends, but I'm going for Pokemon Unite as my reference. Because for me, uh, uh Dota is an ar archaic MOBA, while uh, you know, game like Heroes of New Earth, League of Legends, they are they were games based on Dota 2, Dota and Dota 2. Uh, so they're trying to create those uh, archaic familiarity elements they they, they they maintain you know they e each games have their own roshan each game have their own um river their own uh towers thing so i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna i'm, I'm looking forward to the new version of Mob mobile and i see pokemon unite is like a, a new version of that <coughs> like they they chip away you know they chip out uh they trim all the fats Anything that what people will see as familiarity in the old games, they just they just say screw it and go forward. And we're gonna create a fast and improved sort of MOBA, and that's what I really admire about Pokemon Unite. Uh, hmm. Uh, I'm thinking about loot. You know, um, like a like there's gonna be a twist, like Diablo kind of uh, uh, loot drops or loot crates so like there's gonna be like a randomized weapon yeah this system actually support that kind of thing uh, uh, they support the loots whenever you beat enemies you can generate loots to pick up so uh, kind of kind of remind you of um, the games like Diablo and uh, you know like like Warframe and Destiny <coughs> uh, excuse me, I'm gonna be coughing a lot in advance because I'm still recovering from uh, uh, you know the meme virus. So I'm thinking either they get uh, randomized weapons every time they defeat enemies, or every time they complete an objective, or they can buy a crate from the shop, uh, like like they whenever they farm defeating the creeps or minions they're gonna get some sort of currency and then they can purchase a crate for to, to get a chance of randomized weapon from the um, from the shop so at least that's one of the, of the idea you guys can tell me in the chat if it's a good idea or not <laughs> uh, hopefully uh, we can I can get a second opinion on this design and then I'm gonna have my own Roshan, our own quote unquote Roshan. Roshan. 
or you know as as uh, legal legends version of Ripoff Roshan the Baron Nashor it's just a Roshan in reverse uh, so if you defeat uh, it's, it's like a what you call that like an outworld overworld boss something like that to get a chance of getting a legendary weapon <coughs> so these are the palette I'm gonna choose uh, maybe we should make a ban list as well like this is the the, the palette I'm going I'm gonna refer to so ban list maybe I'm not sure about this uh, let me think what I don't want in my game what do I don't want well, I, I I certainly don't want a long, uh, you know, I don't want again take too long, too much, uh, too long game, radio, uh, too long game time. <laughs> Excuse my English. Uh, too long game time. Uh, how about uh, hmm. But there's gonna be a lot of farming as well because it's part of the game. It's like a yeah. So there's gonna be farming in the in the pallet. <sighs> what I don't want. <sighs> Let me think. complicated system I think I guess I want the skate to be easy to learn easy to uh, you know to pick up and learn like people could just uh, I, I imagine people could get could, could pick up a card or something like a hero's card and then you just know how to play the game right away you just jump in, into it get into the to the to the middle of the action so I don't want to complicate the system. <coughs> uh, and then we gonna. What else I don't want in this game? Mm. All right. Uh, I think I will leave that for now because this these are the only ones I can come up from the top of my head. We'll add into the list as we go along in, into the design. Let's check the content. I uh, they actually I already actually read the entire entire PDF already. You can purchase this SRD from RPG Drive Through, I believe. Uh, they oh either RPG Drive Through or their own website. You can check the uh, Gila Gila gameplay uh, Gila RPG here here in GilaRPG.com and get your copy here they have the copy on sale for uh, pay what you want I'm not gonna tell you how, how much did I, did I pay but it's a great idea it's a great system so I encourage for you guys to support the creator uh, let's see okay so in this PDF they already made some list uh, let's start let's start with attributes so each character each hero champion whatever they have their own att attributes mm -hmm. <coughs> so there's gonna be three attributes the first attribute is gonna be think something powerful something robust for 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 uh, an action that requires a lot of force, uh, not necessarily strength, could be something else. Like in frame, uh, the game inspired by Warframe, uh, this first attribute attribute is called force, followed by flow and focus. Speaking of flow, here's the B attribute. 
this attribute is about speedy, speedy actions, swiftness. Uh, uh, yeah. Speedy action swiftness. This is basically it. And then the third attribute will be about something practiced or something that requires focus, like threading a needle, for example. All right. So uh, I'm thinking like <coughs> I already have some idea going on through my head while I was. Uh, thinking about running this stream right so lumen light and nova all these three games are inspired by light you know photon energy uh illumination so they they their attributes have something like a focus uh, you know kind of remind you of a uh, of yeah lights y you can check the reference here let's see uh in the in the attributes here it is uh, okay so this is in light it's called uh, beacon hold on uh, yeah volt pyre volt and nether while in nova is called force flow and focus so I'm gonna go with that. I'm not gonna go with uh, strength, dex, and intelligence. I'm done with that. I'm <laughs> I I'm, I'm, a get, I'm getting a burnout of Dungeons and Dragons lately. <laughs> uh, I've been involved in too many uh, live games and uh, play by post. I'm just trying to get out of the mold at the moment. No hate for people who still try to dip their finger into Dungeons and Dragons. I still in involved in several campaigns several campaigns imagine that oh my god but none of the live games so far i'm thinking of going into the sci-fi so there's another game i'm still trying to develop on the side but i'm excited to build this this uh moba game because uh of it, it came up to me while i was uh, trying to develop the other sci-fi sort of uh you know space fantasy theme game and I'll see if I can uh, bring that uh, design into the stream someday later. I kind of kind of shame because I I already already done a lot of work on that uh, game off stream. So I was hoping I can work on this one together with everyone. <coughs> so uh, I'm gonna think like something like a uh, for the attributes. A name inspired by uh, water. I don't know why, but it's. Uh, I guess we'll see where it, where 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 it goes. I'm thinking like powerful robots for for the powerful action. We should call it torrent. Uh, B. I'm gonna just uh, borrow from Nova Flow. And the third for the practice and focus session, I'm going to call it uh, Spring. These are the names that came up to me while I was uh, daydreaming about developing this game. So we have these three. Let's check the <laughs> the checklist. We have the we have the three attributes: strength, speed, and methodical action done. And then we create classes. We create classes. Okay, uh, for the classes, I'm thinking the the hero, but we're not gonna use the term hero and champion. We're gonna come with our own terms. Let's call them uh, the avatar. Hmm, avatars. It's gonna be too much like a uh, Ang, the last avatar. Uh, maybe not. Maybe um, the Paragons? Well, not everybody are, um, you know, good guys. Not everybody gonna be righteous. <coughs> mm. <laughs> Defenders, attackers. Mm. Well, heroes, champions, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm thinking. Mm. 
knights, mm, warriors. Mm. If you guys have any idea, uh, just drop in into the chat. Mm. Let me think. Let me think. Mm. Maybe I should just grip my teeth and go with avatars for now. If we can come up with a better term, I'll see if I can replace it with something better. But for now, this will be the 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 the, the term we're going for the characters. So that's gonna be this is gonna be one to four players. I'm thinking like I want five avatars, five avatars. Each with a unique set of skills and gameplay. Uh, and then I want no two avatars are the same. So each of them is they're gonna have they're gonna be a different way of to play the game. So I'm throwing the balance out of the window, I'm just going for fun. They're like <laughs> maybe there's gonna be power creep later on, but yeah, we'll deal with that later. I'm just gonna see what sort of fun thing we can do with it with these guys. I'm thinking of just keep it simple. Uh, they're gonna have each have three powers. Uh, and they can develop to be even stronger. Hmm. Yeah, so attributes, health, resource, and powers. All right, I say, uh, that's does it. So, who are these five avatars? Have I thought of any 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 yet? Mm, perhaps we should we can go with the archetypes. Like that's what. League of Legends went for when they first came out like there were um, your typical um, frozen arrow archer <laughs> draw <coughs> uh, and then there was um, uh, there was a archetype ninja archetype uh, a mage so maybe you can go with that mm. Yeah, just just to fill in the blanks right now. Let's go with that. Uh, there's gonna be a a, a warrior, a ninja, yeah. ninja, spellcaster, a bowman, and. Uh, Hmm. <laughs> mm, I'm thinking like a pugilist, a martial artist, because I love kung fu. Martial artist. And now we're gonna add some tag to make it uh unique. You know, uh, perhaps like a. Uh, for example, a dragon warrior. So it's a warrior can turn into dragon. <coughs> it's because it's never done before. Um, maybe uh, hmm, a beast warrior. A beast warrior. A shape shifter warrior. Shape shifting warrior. Hey, there we go. Shape shifting warrior. Ninja. What's what kind of twist we can put into our ninja? Huh. A space ninja, alien ninja, alien ninja, swamp ninja, mm, fire ninja, elemental ninja, mm. hmm. shadow ninja. No, that's Zed. 
Uh, hey, Tech Ninja. Something like he used advanced technology. So he's very much like Batman in a way. Spellcaster. What sort of spellcaster? <laughs> hmm. Psionic spellcaster. A wild magic spellcaster. Hmm. Guess got so many ideas? It's okay. You can throw it towards me. Just put it in the chat. I might get some idea. Okay, uh let me think. How about mm, <coughs> <coughs> Okay, uh I'm thinking feral spellcaster. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe the spellcaster is like a werewolf or something and maybe yeah. oh excuse me oh. Mm. maybe they are very animalistic very druidic feral spellcaster let's leave that for now for the bowman mm. so what sort of archer are we going for here a bowman mm. When Bowman, an Elven Bowman, yeah, that's that happened. Windrunner, right? Uh, undead Bowman, that's Drow, Drow Ranger. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <coughs> mm. A cat Bowman. <laughs> that's just that's just a cat. <laughs> Let me think, let me think. Uh, a swamp bowman. A fire bowman. Skeleton bowman. We haven't seen that for a while. The skeleton ske skeleton archer from Dota. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let me think. A light bowman. Dark bowman. Teleporting Bowman. Ah, there'll be like a what was it in Dungeons and Dragons? You have the Horizon Walker uh, range here, right? So let's go with that. Uh, Plains Walker Bowman. No, uh, what was that? Tel uh, teleporting Bowman. Let's not kidding ourselves. It's a teleporting Bowman. The martial artist, right? What sort of martial artist are we looking for here? Uh, a turtle martial artist. <laughs> uh, hmm. A robot martial artist. Kinda have that Kenshi vibe. Hmm. We never really have a cultivator sort of martial artist, right? Like, like a Xianxia sort of martial artist. Kind of thinking about um, what's the last Xianxia character in MOBA I ever seen before? Maybe there was, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um. Let's go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna break the martial artist stereotype on in game. This is Shansia. He's a uh, a sh an immortal cultivator hero martial artist. We're gonna have one of those in our MOBA. So each of them gonna have their own skill sets. All right. So I guess we have to start developing these guys. Let's start with shape shifting warrior. So his health. So uh, well, Scott, the designer. Uh, I mean Spencer, Spencer Campbell, Spencer um, Campbell's uh said it's 
preferable for them for the hero to have five to ten HP if I'm not mistaken. It was included here somewhere. Um, Yeah, here it is. Five to ten health. Mm. How about I give? Um, sometimes you know, uh, you you, do, you don't want to follow the stereotype so much, but they are stereotype because they work. So I'm gonna give Chef Shifting Warrior to have ten health. He's gonna be the beefiest among everybody. Ten health. Tech Ninja. Uh, Feral Spellcaster, Bowman, and Shansha Martial Artist. <laughs> and since Tech Ninja is gonna be up front, your face, maybe I'll give him like around 8 health. Spellcaster is gonna be a uh, mess with stuff from range, so he's gonna be somewhere around 5 health. Because he's a spellcaster, he's gonna have the biggest arsenal compared to everybody else. So they will have to deal with the penalty of having the lowest HP. The bomb is gonna be slightly higher from that, maybe six health. And Xian Xiaoma shot is is gonna be somewhere around seven health. Because they in Xiangxia they some something of a uh uh what you call that jack of all trades because of their the the skills and the, the the miracle that they possess from studying and meditation they can do a lot of stuff healing damaging all those good stuff so it, he's gonna be around seven uh let's deal with the attributes Attributes Torrent Flow and Spring. Yeah, it's gonna be the same for everybody else as well. Oopsie. Oopsie Daisy. Alright, mm. I still don't know how they uh, set these attributes yet. But the core system is uh, you you have a pool of d sixes. So imagine if torrent, for example, have three, right? So you roll three d sixes, and uh, based on their roll, the result of the roll, uh, one and two considered failure. Three and four is success. But with complication, five and six is a uh, amazing success, a total success. So, so I'm thinking it would be like somewhere around three to one to five. Let me check. So attribute strength, spear, medical uh, attributes. Two, one, four. Here it is. The cross cat one at the time uh, four. I don't know what they are thinking with this one class section. Where do you say okay, good name for the army? Sergeant inspiration from the game, or I should inspire the game. Hmm.
what did they say about the attributes? I understand here but they didn't say how do you uh, spread points across is it like one two three like you have one of the weakest attributes second the middle the middle and a third third will be the the strongest attribute something like that I, I, I imagine it's that way mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. She has three for flow and roll three d sixes to keep highest result. Uh, actually, we already talked about this. <laughs> they just say. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they didn't say. I'm guessing they leave it to you. Uh, let's go with the one, two, three sort of arrangement this time around. So, Torren, his Torrent will be three, Flow will be two, and it's not much of a surgical sort of person. It's all about broad power, raw martial power. But he's also swift. Tech Ninja. Okay, for Tech Ninja, we know that his flow is gonna be a lot because he's swift. His torrent gonna be two. His spring, his surgical thing is gonna be one. <laughs> for spellcaster, I'm thinking like a uh, you know the practice sort of s of attribute. He's gonna be. Uh, What was the word? Go with high flying colors, with with this practice attribute to spring. It's gonna be fine with flow, but weak in torrent. For the bowman, he she's gonna be. Uh, I just automatically imagine drawing. That's why I call the bowman she. Let's avoid that. Uh, spring is gonna be three as well, but this time. This time the torrent's gonna be regular while the flow is less. Does it make sense? No wait, hold on. It's three here. Uh, but she is surgical because she's a bow he <laughs> whatever. The bowman <laughs> I keep having draw range play in my head whenever I try to design the bowman. That's why I keep addressing the bowman. She, ignore me, please. Uh, so the bowman is swifty. You know, he's pretty nimble, like nin the ninja. But instead of uh, martial power, uh, the bowman is more surgical because you know I, I can imagine like a sniper. They take aim and then shoot. shoot. Right. Uh, so the last one, the torrent. Here we go. Here's the complicated one. I imagine mm, we already have two much class with three in torrent. No, we don't. Three only the first one. Two, uh, three in flow, three in spring, three in flow. So we have a choice here. We can either make the martial artist as, as strong as robust as the warrior or as swifty as the ninja since he's a martial artist maybe he's closer resembles like the ninja so you have three on the f on flow but let's see what sort of combination we can get uh, we have hold on we have a lot of flow characters here we have if we include the martial artist as flow three we'll have two already flow sort of character mm. maybe this time we'll have a mm. 
a robust sort of martial artist. I thought we're going to try to avoid that. In that case, our option would be either Tora or Spring, right? Let's go with Spring. So he's going to be like a, a pseudo uh, spellcaster. But he's going to be average in martial art. So he, he'll have two on Torrent. So three, two. This way, I think our characters will have a very unique combination of attributes. I believe. Let's check. Two Torrent. Torrent one. Three. Torrent three. Uh, two. A uh, three in flow. Three in flow. Three in spring. Three in spring. So we have one guy with on torrent, two guy on flow, and two guy on spring. All right. So that's attributes done. Uh, back to the to the checklist. We have the attributes. We have the health. The resources, yeah. Oops, excuse me. For the resources, these are the fun stuff. Back in the days when Dota was a mod, was a was a custom map on Warcraft Three. Uh, all heroes used mana to cast the spells because they were. Uh, you know, based on uh, an RTS characters, RTS unit. After the sequel, or rather uh, the spiritual successor, they uh, came out. They tried to create an innovative sort of resources where different heroes have different sort of resources. Like one guy have a um, have energy like they have the energy is already full but over time when they use the energy their, their skills their power their skills runs out until they could uh, catch their breath or so to speak and then you have the spell castle who use mana that uh, you know there is also that just run over time and then you have the only way to restore it is by uh, waiting for it to regenerate go back home to your fountain and restore the health or use a potion uh, and then there was a, and I think League of Legends are the ones who introduce character that doesn't use resources at all, just the cooldown. Hmm. It's all fun and stuff, but I'm thinking maybe in our game we're gonna have a common resources so everybody just have a uniform sort of uh, gameplay like uh, I want uh, people just to pick up this game easily like okay you pick this hero if you have these resources you can use your power and that's it boom so I'm thinking like a uh, what sort of resources I'm thinking about here can I go mana we can create our own like chi <laughs> Mm, dust from endless series dust right <laughs> how about spice from June <laughs> uh, how about um hmm. energy uh, rage a, di uh, a different form of chi or even chi mm. so we, we already use a water theme on the attributes why not we use a water sort of resources as well <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna call it drops because drops is already used term for the loot so we have to use something else <laughs> spit <laughs> spit huh uh maybe not spit how about uh hmm, 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 let me think you guys have any suggestion just 
put in the chat mm, I'm thinking a dollop mm, not jelly now this is just getting silly mm. crowns no mm. momentum huh how about that momentum It's new, but takes so long to pronounce it. Like imagine, like during the game, uh, I I have three momentum left. Such a tongue twister to say momentum. Like mana is just too. Uh, what 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 was the word? Uh, you know. I don't know how, how do you pronou pronounce the kukata in English, but yeah. Mana, momentum, three, three, three. Uh. Basically, it, it, the pronunciation takes longer to commit. Uh, let me think. How about soul? That's just. Dark soul kind of thing, right? <laughs> Sand, liquid, beams, gazer. Stream, ah, stream sounds easy. I have four streams left. Stream left. So stream, it's like a, a stream of energy, basically. Uh, people, it, 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 it's a thing that continuously flow. Yeah, just trying to <laughs> be. Uh, s what what was the word? <laughs> we do a uh, deep about it it's a stream of uh, force of flow things that connect us in the universe something like that it's a stream okay uh, stream will be our resources okay I'm gonna uh, I think everybody can have the same spring. we increase though like for uh if you play spellcaster obviously you're gonna have more power to choose from no 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 i think i'm gonna keep it fun everybody got equal amount of stream they can they can spend to activate their power so it's gonna be chaotic it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing so everybody got a chance to an uh, equal chance to activate their power all right so stream four 
maybe keep it low though maybe I want to keep it low because the more math we, we, ha we have to do the more things we have to keep track of and then the more time is going to be spent so I'm just keep it keep it simple trees the 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 sweet spot I think stream will be the res the resources that we're going to use to use power okay so that's resources boom three five power yeah three to five powers mm. create enemies oh wait hold on so three five power resources powers okay right we we mentioned that we need three powers for each so yeah powers A, B, C. <sighs> so, uh I don't want to even include a difficult a difficult mathematic here you just take one stream to activate one power that's it uh, and then the power can get can become stronger over time as they uh, get the advancement in game mm, let me think mm. oh, while we can design the power now but we can put that side for now and then we just deal with the huge the, the, the broad brush strokes for now the issue is here we can play you know to have the same three power and get able to be, uh, to be even stronger mm, excuse me mm. I'll have to move this somewhere else Okay. So five avatars with their own powers. Mm, we'll deal with that later. And then we have the enemies. Yeah, big, big subtitle over here. Enemies. So. We want a minion. Uh, we want a a super minion, not not minion. Something like you know a creep minion creep. Uh, the 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 small unit that keep pushing each other. Uh, either that, or we can go with the. With the Pokemon Unite uh, route, so it's not really they using the creep to push into the into the enemy's lane. More like they they go on on a little on a on a you know on a tiny adventure, farming these monsters, get their bonuses, get their drops, become stronger, and then push into the lane. So we have the the common monster. We have the buff monster. The buff monster that uh, the one that gives you uh, temporary bonus when you defeat it to give you an edge during fights between avatars. And then our, we have our Roshan. Or the boss, good boss. <coughs> we don't need two buff monsters. I think we just need one, so they can fight over that. Uh, common monster, buff monster, and Roshan. Do we need more? 
I'm just gonna keep it simple though. Like they already have each other to worry about. Come on, Moses. Like I, I imagine on the on the map, there's gonna be several camp they can raid to kill the monster and get their resources, and then they just keep continue to regenerate over time. Uh, you know, continue to respawn so they can keep coming back. And buff monster they can defeat to get an edge, and the world boss. The boss monster is where you get the ultimate edge against your enemy. Like, and they unlock a legendary weapon. Mm, so we have that. The enemies need health, harp, and three moves. All right. I imagine like this guy's gonna have like. Health. The boss gonna be amazing though. It can have ten health. Buff monsters. This guy is gonna have. Uh, <coughs> well, I'm not sure about ten health. I guess that's fine. I guess seven health. But this guy's a boss though. Uh, ten health is fine. I guess. Uh, harm and range. Harm. Yeah, this guy deals one harm. This guy this deals two harm. This guy deals three harm melee and two harm range. But that. So they can't really mess around with the boss. Mm, hold on. Three harm AOE. Two harm range. Two harm. And then one harm range. So the buff monster has some sort of a uh, edge. A bit stronger than your common monster. And then three moves. <laughs> three moves. A B C. So the for the common monster, uh, they just fight to death. Because it, yeah, I imagine that like monster try to defend their nest or something. So they fight to death. Um, uh, easily give up chase. Like if our hero suddenly decide to escape, they'll just let them go. It's fine. <laughs> and finally, last one. I imagine. Uh, hmm. Like we can expect the common monsters gonna be weak, right? But what if they are also uh, smart? Like. I hope all my players don't really uh, underestimate them, so they're also smart. Pick up the weaker, weaker of the bunch. So if they see any players are dying, they're gonna go for that guy first. That will make the make the 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 common monsters more dangerous. <laughs> we'll figure out the name later. Don't worry about it. Uh, the buff monster, right? So, uh, um, I imagine this guy's a bit smarter, so they fight to survive. It's a bit different from common monster because the common monster is gonna be our main, uh, main fodder 
for our heroes this is where they get their drops their health their stream and their currency but the buff monster is gonna be a bit of a challenge because our hero is trying to grab the buff that this monster provides so it's gonna be for give some sort of a challenge but to survive uh, they also call for in reinforcement how about that <laughs> Surprise! They can call for common monster to help. From common monster, oh jeez, it's gonna be big, difficult. Common monsters. Common monsters. All right. <coughs> so like, if they fight the buff monster, no neglecting the common monster scam, the more common monster is gonna come to help the buff monsters. Uh. Let's see. Escape. This guy trying to fight to survive, right? So they uh fight to survive. As attempt to escape. When overpowered. Outnumbered. Or dying. Mm, grammar. Gotta watch your grammar. So these guys are smart. They fight in numbers. They also uh, try to try to get out of here in, in one piece. They don't want to die. Mm, the common monsters maybe like I'm gonna add here uh, our previous idea. Uh, protecting their nest. Camp. They have no choice. The buff monsters are the bullies they maybe in story the buff monsters they uh they prey upon the common monsters or like they 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 bully the common monsters into submission to provide food and stuff so they have this some sort of a toxic symbiosis is that the right word the symbiosis symbiosis relationship between them uh How about uh all right since since they bully we know their personality that they bully the common monsters what if they are also cruel like they're gonna if they have a chance to make to you know make our players life a nightmare they'll do it they're cruel they, they're gonna do their best like they're cruel to PC and to the common monsters like use them as meat shield or something they put the monsters in the, the common monsters in front of them <laughs> and then finally the boss this guy uh, this guy is like a a mythical creature that resides in in a um, uh, in a peak of mountain or deep underground. Like you, uh, you can just stumble upon them. So imagine like uh, they they're the monster that you seek to vanquish. So I imagine they'll be pretty pissed off to find our players come to um, you know have the have the audacity <laughs> to disturb his rest so maybe he's uh, he's vengeful you know he's vengeful he remember remembers uh, initiator you know players who come to attack first members initiators um you always uh you know they they always attack the guy who deals the most harm so yeah vengeful uh let's see uh 
Maybe they're the apex predator that all the other monsters answer to him. So he too called for reinforcement. <laughs> oh, maybe it's that's gonna snowball, right? Yeah, maybe not. They have a they have a limit break. They rage. Like imagine you're a proud creature like the 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 apex predator of the land and suddenly some bunch of mortals dare come disturb you and then they're actually winning. You're gonna be you know, you're gonna be pissed. So they they have a limit break and they rage after a certain amount of damage or combo dealt so they're gonna get buff from that maybe like a plus one harm negative one harm uh, uh, two attacks and negative one harm Built to the boss. And finally, mm, what else can I think of? <laughs> They're vengeful. They have a limit break. They like like they can go berserk. Ah, uh, let's go for the Apex Predator route. They eat other monsters. And restore HP. So we have a Devil Joe here. Uh, I imagine... Just plus one health. I don't wanna go big about it. So in a way, they kind of uh, include other camp, uh, other monsters to be into the fight. But instead of like the buff monsters where they call the 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 minion to back him up, the boss is just gonna walk towards the other <laughs> other monsters camp and then eat them for his own benefit. It's like he just doesn't give a give a flying crap, you know. He's the apex predator. He know what he wants. Okay, so that's boss. Uh, I think that's the enemies done. Okay, worry about the naming later. Uh, the weapon types and tags. Okay, the weapon tags. This one's gonna be a bit complicated, I think. Weapon types and tags. Maybe insert a page break here. Page break. There we go. Weapon types and tags. Mm. Each weapon needs harm range optional required tags. <laughs> harm range. Okay, 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 okay. Mm, I'm guessing we need to create a table. Table, so like we have five people, right? So we, we give it ten weapons, something. Uh, so, kind of weapon, a uh, range, and extra tags. I'm guessing that way, so. Uh, harm range and tags. Harm, hold on. We don't need that. Harm range and tags. Mm, yeah, so one, two. One two one two. 
I'm gonna see what they said about weapons. One two three one two three yeah 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 okay so set it one two three we have one d three yeah range is gonna be either okay uh in in lumen they have uh they have their own uh combat uh you know, uh, measurement. Like they got rid of greed combat. They're going for um, a flexible range between you and the enemy instead. So instead of uh, let's say, um, I I I was in Dungeons and Dragons. I would say, I'm ten feet from my enemy, so I move in five, uh, ten feet, and I'm finally in melee range. Then only I, I attack. In Lumen, they have the relationship between PC and the enemy, like uh, up to three sort of range. You have close, which means a uh, melee range, near, which is middle range, and then far. I can show you right uh, here, I think. Here it is near, close, far. So this is the melee range, close is a bit of a medium range sort of thing and then you have far and then you have beyond uh, for beyond range you cannot see or hear whatever happens in the in the combat range but I'm not gonna go for this one, I'm gonna go with the um, Dungeons and Dragons hard mode uh, hardcore mode uh, sort of a zone combat so let's see if I can mess around with it. Uh, we have uh, same zone. Uh, one zone away. One zone difference. Two zones difference. And something even go that goes even further. Maybe. Three zones difference. I'm not sure if it's that wise. Let's just go with I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, same zone, one zone, and two zones difference. One, two, three damage. Hmm. The types, though. Alright, the types. I want a different blend. Different blend of range weapons, melee weapons, and spell focus, spell foci. So maybe even if you're using a uh, uh, that's the sh shape shifting warrior, for example. You can still probably benefit from using the spell foci. The spell foci is basically like staff, one, stuff like that. So maybe I'm gonna add a row. Oh no no no, not that. Aha. So types. What blades? Axe. Dagger. Spear. Shot. 
Oh, longbow. One staff. Orb. You know what, since I'm not going to stuck in a D&D world, I'm going to add some sci-fi weapon as well. So... I imagine D20 <coughs> This is 1D3 Spray. <laughs> so we got one already. Let's what what else we can get here? Mid clothes stationery. Mid spray bar. Oh, that that came later. That came in the different sort of tag. Okay, okay. We have twenty here. Break a pitch here, so we just go to the different section altogether. Just so we have the entire table fit in one pitch. It's better that way. So we have blades, axe, daggers, spear, short bow, long bow, sword maybe. Um, and then we have uh, we want gun guns baby we have revolver gun uh, rifle shotgun whip put this somewhere around here Shotgun, revolver, uh, gun, rifle, shotgun, submachine gun. SMG, basically, submachine gun. Gun, rifle, shotgun, SMG. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. So we play X Tech Spear, Shovel, Longbow, One Stuff, All the Gun Darts. <laughs> Rifle, Shotgun, SMG, Gun Revolver. Like, automatic. Spell book Grimoire. So it's a part of inside of a magic realm. Hammer. Something special. 
special mm-hmm. so we played ham x that is spirit shop or longbow dots and a bottom me that longbow that's just capital L or revolver gun rifle shotgun SMG <laughs> What else can we think of? A ring, a magic ring. No, no, no. Uh, talisman paper. Since we have a Shansia guy here, right? Might as well have a Shansia sort of a uh, quote unquote weapons as well. So, oh, oh shit. Ah, uh, crap. One, two. Okay, maybe we should we should rearrange this uh, alphabetically first before we do anything else. Let's go up. B. And C. No. B. Paper or one with all right that's good so one two three one zone difference two zone difference same zone those difference all right it's a fun part tag and d20 this is where the, uh, the tag is gonna modify the weapons uh, it can be either mechanic mechanical or uh, uh, completely flavor for example right uh, I imagine the shotgun have a spray function. <laughs> Maybe shotgun we should come with its own uh, tag. I'm thinking. Mm. Yeah, X should come with yeah. So these weapons will come with their own tag, like slashing slash. Right. Slash slash piercing. It's not a piercing. 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 Uh piercing. 
and then we have bludgeoning or impact stuff could be impact one no whip I imagine whip could be slashing as well but technically it's an impact right you don't use weight you use it's the explosion what do you guys think should we be slashing or impact because technically they injure you through explosion right like micro explosion when the when the the rope start you know crack I'm gonna go for a slash for now until somebody would protest mm. I imagine the weapons would be piercing as well like the gun would be piercing revolver will be piercing rifle will be piercing shotgun will be will come with its own spray essentially will be Spray as well now piercing. So it's slash. Or mm, doesn't one not really. Grimoire nothing. <clears throat> so uh these weapons will come their own tags and then add to it another tag. I imagine a legendary weapon will have a second tag uh, I, uh, I mean a third tag second an, an extra tag basically that would be a legendary weapon but the web the, the harm will be between these three mm -hmm. <sighs> imagine if a shotgun could get spray and then another spray Let's see what sort of example text do they have. Okay, they have burst, charge. Yeah, let's go with that. Burst. Burst. Charge. You yeah, additional harm if you roll 6 on the attack. Maybe we have explanation of attack. On the late on, on on another another list. Oh, we we'll write it down right now. Mm. Tax. We have slash piercing impact uh, spray. Burst charging. Mm. Melee range. Mm. Erupt. Raining. Sapping. Stationary.
Okay, so these are mechanical uh, tags. There are 12 of them. And then we can create 8 more, a flavor version of tags, flavors. Maybe they glows in the dark. Glow, they glow in the dark. Gain effectiveness when using certain. What do you mean effectiveness? Types of enemy. Ah. Mm. Common monster bane. Buff monster bane. Uh. Bane. So they have extra weapon against certain types of enemy. Uh, PC Bane. So we have the 12, 14, 15, 16. So we have 4 left for flavor sort of. Slash tag in the tag and piercing tag tag and tag tag and tag spray um tags multiple enemy multiple enemy I imagine the recipient should be spray as well. Huh? Sort of, it's like a smaller spray compared to shotgun. Attack multiple enemies, burst. Additional harm if you roll d6 on attack. Ah, good with that. Deals. Additional harm if rule six six on the attack. So you have some sort of a uh, critical thing charging. For firing must be charged momentarily before firing. Must be charge momentarily before an attack. Must be in the same zone. Can attack from. Another zone. Erupt enemies killed with this weapon 
explodes one harm to everyone or nearby <laughs> everyone nearby <laughs> draining okay. Okay, kill yeah plus one health when getting a kill plus one uh, stream I'm getting a kill like uh, these tags I'm referring to the PDF right away because uh, these are the stuff that they already have you know played and proven yet I have no idea how this game is going to be played so perhaps I'm going to use by the book for these tags for now until um, after some playthrough I realize which can be changed which can be s can stay and then I'll, I'll start make some sort of like an update you know uh, to rebalance maybe remove some text create new one things like that uh, let's see uh, stationary stationary would be can't move Before or after an attack. <laughs> if attack using this weapon this round, glow. The weapon glows in the dark. In the dark. Additional harm against. Monster addition on the harm against monster uh, against buff monster common monster additional harm against boss additional harm against another player nice uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17 uh, we have slots for 3 more tags mm, menacing in ghastly or uh, inspired fear uh, what else flavor text we can pick up <coughs> hmm. I don't want to include elemental yet I'm not sure this just means like it's gonna be extra things react with the other stuff or whatever <sighs> menacing going just the aura inspire fear inspire hope something like that Smoldering. <laughs> Smoking. I'm I'm thinking like the 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 smoldering cloak from D and D. Let me check. 
What was that? Billowing cape, smoldering cape, smoldering armor. Here it is. Let me borrow the description from this item. Smoldering armor. What did it say it again? A wisp of harmless or the smoke rise from the armor while it's worn. Okay, wisp of armor. Wisp of harmless or the smoke rise from this. Let's see. Wisp of harmless or the smoke rise from this weapon. Uh, okay, so that. You have one more. You guys, guys, any have any ideas for the last stack for the weapons? Don't be shy to share it in the chat. I'm thinking. Glass Ethereal Ah Ethereal e see through Ghastly Ghastly Link and out of the existence material world. Hell yeah, that sounds edgy as fuck, but <laughs> that would have to do. So these are the s the tags that I'm gonna include in this game. So let's just arrange it alphabetically. As best as I can. Charging. Training, piercing, melee, range, rot. EFG, so glow. HIJ C C charging common menacing smoldering HIJ HIJ M menacing Menacing RSTOPQ piercing PC RS slash spray sapping sapping we should go first because of a spray station RSD PTRSTU Small Rich we higher LM and LM So smoldering Slash smoldering Spray stationary That's it uh, These are the tags Since because uh, slash piercing impact spray is all are already included, right? So that means we should have 
slash piercing impact spray we should have four more tags we can fill in other than the first you know the usual four thinking four more tags we can include what should we include four more tags four more tags you guys have any ideas perhaps not let me see ah I know I know okay greedy greed accumulate plus one currency I gotta get back to this later when getting a kill Hmm. Greed. So we got three more, right? Three more tags. How about a gimmicky weapon? Healing. All harm. Deal. This weapon turns into weapon. Heal the target of. I don't know. I'm done if this weapon heals instead. <laughs> Silly. So we have a, a, a healing gun, right? Healing. Flying, flying weapon, flying weapon, like flying sword, right? Flying. The weapon to be held. Weapon doesn't need to be held. Flies alongside user and attacks by fault there you go hmm. so that's three I think that's it that's all what we have so greed should go up here Flying should go up here. Healing should go There we go. So we have buff monster bane. Burst Boss Bane Charging Common Monster Bane Draining Erupt Ethereal Ethereal I 
these are the concept I'm always useful, right? More harm, flat increase, effective on the roll, effective range, and expect place. to add this tag along Two zones difference. <laughs> Close near far. Buff Master Bane, burst Boss Bane, charging, summon Master Monster Bane, draining. Let's see if we got this right. Okay, buff Monster Bane, burst Boss Bane. Ethereal, far flying. Flying uh glow grid. Can I just press more can I glow greed healing impact uh, healing uh impact melee must be in the same zone. Let's go for melee. Must be the same zone. Or maybe not. Right. <laughs> right, weapon range. So, melee, menacing. Near, near that. PC bane. Thing. 
piercing yeah range Sapping Smoldering Smoldering Spray Stationary Stationary. Oopsie, we have extra one slot here. Maybe we can use the threats for resources. Because so far we have a <coughs> health increase, harm done with specific monsters, range. Uh, override the range, the glow. <laughs> we haven't even considered the uh, this stuff. Maybe we can replace some of the flavored tags with these. Uh, increase effectiveness when using a specific attribute. What do you mean, effectiveness? Increase effectiveness. More harm. Flat increase. Come. This is variable increase. Change the effective range. Unexpected wave. Burst, right? <coughs> unexpected ways. Yeah, I like. I already have the unexpected ways for the weapon function. Like, you you could have a uh, suddenly a range sword or a melee gun. You don't you don't know? Okay, I think I'm gonna change a bit stuff. Smoldering. So happen. Uh, like add to that. It also have effectiveness. Raise increase effectiveness. If used uh, flow, maybe. Hmm. Let's see. You can use the glow, for example. Glow, inspire hope, increase effectiveness. Increase effectiveness if used. Torrent. So maybe we get extra dice. You know, effectiveness could be our keyword to gain extra dice. Because effective if using it. If used torrent. Uh, what's the other one? Menacing. Increase effectiveness. If used, uh, spring. Because I imagine, like, uh, the one that inspire hope would be more decisive, so they use torrent and menacing feels like evil right so they will be need more you know calculative uh, manipulative they w they will use spring for the other one i imagine they use flow uh far uh no not far the flying uh increase effectiveness yes if you Low to attack to attack ah uh, to attack. So 
so I think I probably need to you know what's the word make these terms bold so it's easy to read Killing, impact, melee, menacing, near, PC, pain, increasing range, sapping, slash, smoldering, stationary. Alright, cool. Stationary. And we have one extra slot we can fill in. Anything? Charge, close, elemental. Since I'm not using shield, hmm, I don't really have use for elemental yet. But I can use flat in crystal. Sharp, right? <laughs> Easy. Sharp. Should be above smoldering. Sharp. Uh, increase. No, not sharp. Titanic Massive in size Deal Additional harm You have something like that before? Additional harm, okay, something clear Wait, hold on, you do That increase variable effective range and speed away from the powers of the resources. Uh, increase effectiveness when using specific attributes. <coughs> More harm. The enemies, yeah, let increase. Last one to outcome. Change the effect of them. Enhance the ways where the function interacts with powers or resources. Ah, maybe not Titanic. Maybe something else. Maybe spend resources to get more effectiveness. I imagine something like I cannot think of any right now. Span a stream to increase range. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, range. I think increase range. Hmm. 
expand the stream to increase range so they can so they can attack from melee to <laughs> span the street to target additional character you already have spray for that <clears throat> Spend stream to increase uh What sort of bonus would you like when you sp have to spend extra? Like it became a power that way, right? Transmute. I I get it. Transmute. Spend stream to increase health. Or vice versa? Is that wise? Yeah, sure, right? <laughs> That's a powerful tag. So stationary, transmute. Yay! We're done! We're finally done! Alright, cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Back to the... To the checklist. Health, harm, harm range, optional, required tax. Uh, let's say, uh, a legendary weapon. Legendary weapon. Uh, uh, confirm drop when defeated boss uh, it rolls on the tag on the tag column I think that's it <sighs> nice right so core mechanic health resources cost using powers uh, health combat gen turn Drops. All right. Uh, we're gonna design the drops. Uh, we're mostly done with this stuff. Okay. Uh, how long have we stream? Uh, about two hours. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up soon. Uh, we're gonna make some plan for future uh continuation. Maybe a part two on this uh. Dev stream, <laughs> dev stream. Please. Uh, okay, we gonna have we gonna create the drop. Currency. Shop. Loot crate. Um, and then we're gonna add a map. And maybe a, a game mode, extra game mode, right? So we have. I don't know, I'm thinking like you have the normal game mode. Normal mobile game mode. We have PvE. 
capture the flag. <laughs> uh, think of something else. Capture the flag. Game mode. Drop currency. Shop. Map. Game mode. What else? Do we need to add? Let me check. Enemies, harm, moves, weapons. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. We gonna naming. No. 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 We gonna deal with powers. Because our avatars still haven't have powers yet. I. I was hoping like I'm gonna create something that interacts with weapons that they can. Uh. Get. Powers and their advancement. 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 Thank you. Advancement. Um. Okay. This is our like future checklist. Future plans. Drop currency. Shop to create map game mode. Normal mobile PVE. Capture the flag. Maybe. Hmm. Powers and their advancement, advancement, like maybe their XP or, or miles. I'm thinking like either XP, the farming XP or completing objective. S I either of those. So we have uh, drop, crazy shop, upgrade, new mode, normal mobile, powers, naming. Naming and finally, uh, hold on, let me just that one do right so messy that way. Just gonna insert page break. See. Okay, uh, drop currency, should we create, make, and map game mode, make. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna include here game mode and maps. Power the investment. Power and the advancement. Advancement. Naming. <laughs> and maybe character creation. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, naming and personality. Of avatars and monsters. And finally, trim the fat. We're gonna all this stuff that we created. We're gonna try to get rid of any extras and try to make it simple city. Simple city. <laughs> Remember the K, uh, the kiss, the kiss mantra. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to try to get. And maybe we have a play test. Hopefully, we'll see. So. Uh, that's all for now. Thank you for coming to my stream. Uh, and I hopefully you guys will join me in the future. Maybe next time I'm gonna play a video game or continue working on my animation project. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing, don't hesitate to follow me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.